Hey everybody, I thought I'd talk about this piece of equipment right here behind me. It's a Maxent 16 gallon bottling tank. I did a video not long ago about my entire process of storing and bottling honey, but I thought I'd take just a little while and do a short video and focus primarily on this piece of equipment. I hope you find it interesting. If you like what you see, uh, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up and hit that notification bell to see future videos from me. For years, we've used this traditional method of bottling up honey. We used a basic five gallon bucket and I installed a honey gate on here. You can buy them online, pretty cheap, and it worked well, but it's quite tedious. And so we decided finally after several years uh, to go to a more efficient way of doing it. Let's look inside this thing here. There's the honey down in there. I'm guessing there's probably somewhere between five and seven gallons in there right now. One of the coolest features about this thing is you can heat up your honey sufficient to decrystallize the honey. Inside this area right here, there is like a, a blanket, like this space right here is hollow. And so you can put water down in this space using the spout right here. And it goes and it runs all around the honey. So it's all in this area here and even down here beneath the honey. And so it'll warm the honey up to whatever temperature you want, you want. The way that you can tell how much water is in there is with this glass tube right here. If you turn this right here, you can see the level of the water inside the space around the honey. So you just put the water in like this. Put a little bit in here. You can see that level rise. Just like that. So now the level is up actually just below the level of the spout. So that water in that jacket is at that same level all the way around. You also have a thermostat right here and a heating element that goes into the water beneath the honey. You can control this, put it on any temperature you want. Now you can see by looking at this gauge right here, you can get this honey, this water really hot. Really, you can control it anywhere from 60 to 250 degrees. I like to keep mine between 100 and 105, and no more than 110, and let it heat up that way. I don't want to get it too hot. I don't want to ruin the quality of the honey. So that's one reason I like to keep it right about there, somewhere in that time area. And if you look up here, you've actually got a thermostat. It tells you the temperature of the honey. Right now, it says this is about 107, 108. Another item that I would recommend if you buy a tank like this is that you get one of these pellet perches right here. I found that when I pour the five gallon buckets in, it's difficult to get the buckets empty about this perch. So I put the perch up here and I just put the five gallon bucket, I poured in, I set it right here and the honey can drain out over time instead of trying to get it all out at once. Uh, crystallized honey in the buckets will um, at times not want to come out, but all the liquid honey mostly will flow out fairly quickly and then you can just kind of scoop that crystallized honey out and just drop it in the tank. And if, when you warm it up, it will decrystallize into beautiful clear honey. Some may ask why I decrystallize my honey. The truth of the matter is that most people, at least around here, would prefer to have the liquid honey. They don't want crystallized honey. I don't alter the honey in any way, except for I do warm it up just enough to decrystallize it. If you warm it up a little bit as well, you can also, it also makes it much easier to put in the bottles or jars. Uh, it flows more easily through the gate. There's also on the bottom of this glass tube, if you close this, that'll that valve cuts off the water supply to the tube. If you want to remove the water out of the tube, you just open up this little butterfly valve right there and the uh, water will flood into a jar. If you need to take the water out of the entire tank, you just remove this plug right here and get the water out of there. It holds about, I think I've got almost six gallons in there right now, so it holds a fair amount of water. And they recommend that you use distilled water to do that. At least that's what I'm using. So this is the no-drip valve right here. 
It's a wonderful feature. It is a game changer. You can bottle up honey so much faster using that than the typical honey gate over here. This is a pricey piece of equipment, but I think I definitely would recommend that you get one of these if you're gonna spend the money to get one of these tanks. Okay, I thought I'd show you how easy it is to bottle up honey with this bottling tank. It's just as easy as this. You pull the handle down, it fills up. You release the handle and then get that last little drop. Just like that. Only thing left to do now is to put the lids on them. And I'll put some labels on them. Oops. Just like that. So I really like this bottling tank. It's been a game changer for me. It makes life a lot easier uh, for two or three reasons. Number one, we get 16 gallons in the tank at the same time. We can bottle them up much faster. And it's just been really nice to have. Um, I appreciate y'all watching Bruce's Bees. Subscribe to the channel if you would like. Uh, that's it for now. I'm in the next video.